is Bria Loren and as promised welcome back to the second episode of how to go natural if you missed my first video I suggest you go check that out I'll link it right above on top and I'll also link it in the description box where I talk about go natural and big chop or transition so go ahead and check out that video if you have kudos to you welcome to the second episode we're going to get into my favorite products that I suggest for you and what products I love we'll go over stylers gels leave-ins deep conditioners co-washes shampoos the whole kit and caboodle now I have a lot of products a lot in my stash I tried to pick my favorite ones they're my favorite at the moment I, I go through a cycle of things and this is for my newbies out here that are just starting off or really just don't know what products to use or just curious to see what I have I would suggest if you're just starting off natural you're gonna have to do some trials and errors but once you find those products that do good by you stick with it don't try to go all up up and above if you want to start experimenting by all means go ahead experiment but once you find those products that just make your hair just goddess just all up in here just all up in here just keep it that way so without further ado let's get into my favorite products <laughs> So first, uh, okay, so this is gonna get kind of crazy. I'm gonna try to keep this real, real boom, 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 to the point, to the point. So first, we're going to go with co-washing. If you don't know what co-washing is, it is using a conditioner to, to cleanse, not necessarily cleanse, but to basically rinse out the impurities, leave your hair soft and moisturized. A lot of times people do co-washing with conditioners some do co-washing with an actual co-wash depending on how i feel i'll either use a co-wash or a conditioner i only co-wash once a week and i shampoo every two weeks i do both some people are oh no i don't shampoo at all oh no i don't co-wash at all i do both when my hair needs to be co-washed and just needs to pick me up i'll do that once my hair feels like it has too much product on it and it needs to be clean and my scalp needs to be clean, I shampoo. So I suggest doing the same thing, making sure that you co-wash when needed, when your hair just needs a little pick-me-up, but make sure that you shampoo your hair too. So let's get into my co-washes then we'll hop right into shampoos. So for my first co-wash that I use, I use the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner. And I really like this conditioner, I mean, it's not the most natural. It does have some silicones, silicones in here. It's not the best when it comes to being natural, but it keeps my hair super soft and it's a lot of product for your money. I believe this was like, I don't know if the sticker's still on here, but this, this costs no more than $5 some places, some places less than that. So it's really cheap, it's affordable, and it really does the job. It detangles my hair really well, and my fingers can just glide right through. So I really love this product as a co-wash, and my hair just needs a little pick-me-up. Now my favorite co-wash, my favorite co-wash, I've been using this co-wash for years since I started my natural hair journey. It is the As I Am Coconut Co-wash Cleansing Cream Conditioner. Now I really love this product because it's extremely moisturizing. It tangles my hair well and it does leave my hair pretty clean. Now it doesn't leave it squeaky clean. It, it doesn't just, it's not a shampoo. It does not clean my hair to a T but this does leave my hair pretty clean to where I can go at least three weeks without shampooing and stick with using this co-wash right here. It's extremely moisturizing. It smells good. It has coconut oil, castor oil in it, and it's a really thick consistency, sort of runny, but I love this product. I see a lot of naturals on YouTube rave about it, and they are right. This is a really nice product. It is on the pricey side, depending on where you find it. Sometimes you can find it at your local beauty supply store for around $7. If you go to certain places, you might find it for $10, $12, $13. So shop around, find the best one with the best price. It all is it's the same thing. Some people just want to tax on it. 
Hopping into shampoos. I have three shampoos that I love. And the first one is the Mayo Organics Bible Suit Conditioning Shampoo for dry and curly hair types. This is a new bottle, but I do have another bottle that's almost empty in my stash. And I really love this, this shampoo because it leaves my hair moisturized, but yet it leaves it nice and clean, ready for the next step of deep conditioning. This makes sure that my scalp is nice and clean if it's itchy. I love using this one and it's sulfate free, it's color safe. So if you do have color treated hair, you can also use it as well without worrying about your color rinsing out, which is another plus. The next shampoo I use, and you have seen this in a video, is the Easy on the Curls Detangling Hydration Shampoo by The Main Choice. You saw me use this shampoo in around three videos, three, four videos ago. I did a full wash through routine, and if you saw the video, you saw that this shampoo really did detangle my hair. And I know it's hard to believe that a shampoo would detangle, because a lot of shampoos don't have that much slip to have your fingers glide through the curls, but yes, this shampoo does leave my hair so soft and moisturized, yet clean, and it's also easy to detangle, so I don't even have to worry about detangling. Before I shampoo, I can just hop in the shower, put my hair in sections and then just pop right in the shampoo. And I like to keep my wash day as easy as possible. So if I can skip a step, I will skip a step. So don't forget to watch that video. I will link it up here and I will also link it down here. Don't forget to check that out if you wanna see my wash day routine with the main choice. And my last favorite shampoo is the Inasi Natural Smoothing Mint Sulfate Free Gentle Cleansing Shampoo. Now I feel, I feel like it was a long time ago, <laughs> but I did do a, a um, wash and go, see, I did a wash and go with using the Anansi Natural Products. I did use this shampoo. It was really moisturizing and it's made with mint. And you know, mint just always feels really good on the scalp because it gives you that tingling feeling and really makes your scalp feel nice and just clean and just relieved. So if you have itchy scalp and you want something that's still moisturizing and not too dry, I would suggest the Anansi Naturals Soothing Mint Shampoo. And I will make sure again to link that video in the top and in the bottom. You can check that out. And these are, this is definitely one of my faves when my scalp is itching. For my next products, I'm going into my favorite, favorite, favorite part of being natural, of the wash day, of everything. I'm a big, big advocate for deep conditioning. Of my next video next Sunday for my natural hair, how to go natural series will be how to deep condition. And so definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can check that next video out. So let me get into deep conditioners. Now on my Instagram, I did post a picture of me after my hair was deep conditioned, I showed you my curls and you all really loved it and asked about it. And the shit and the deep conditioner that I used for that was the Cantu Deep Treatment Mask right here. Overall, I feel like the Cantu line is the best line to try if you are starting off natural, need some affordable products. And I have nothing but good to say about that entire line. That is definitely a line I suggest if you are going natural and you're kind of short on cash, but you really want some good products, definitely, definitely, definitely give Cantu a try. So I tried this deep conditioner. This deep conditioner is literally one of my favorites. I love this deep conditioner. Now it is a mask not a deep conditioner. The difference is with a deep conditioner, you're gonna get more slip. You're gonna be able to glide your fingers through. With the mask, it's a little bit more heavy, it's a little bit more thicker, and you really won't be able to really finger detangle your hair, but once you rinse it out, your hair will be popped. Then. Hope you're not getting bored yet because I still have a lot more products to go. <laughs> but I'm trying to move quick. So my next favorite deep conditioner is the Shea Moisture Superfood Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System with Morella Oil and Biotin Hair Mask meant to age defy, color protect, hydrate, nourish, soften, anti-stress, deep condition, revive body, strengthen, and shine. Now I just got kind of hip to this deep conditioner as well and I really do like it because it smells amazing and it really does work great on my hair. It's really thick 
has a real thick consistency and honestly I think I, I was kind of hesitant to try it because I used to love Shea Moisture Procs when I first went natural and, I, and something about it I, my hair doesn't really like Shea Moisture that much as well but I did hear a lot of good things about this deep conditioner it's excellent it leaves my hair super soft. It's great to moisturize with. If your hair needs a little pick me up, I suggest using this deep conditioner as well. One of my faves. Moving on to leave in conditioners, I love the leave in conditioning repair king, king, <laughs> repair cream by Cantu. I really do love this leave-in conditioner because you can also use this as a styler. If you wanna like do a twist out, you can do a twist out with this product or anything. It's excellent, it smells amazing. It's a lot of product, it comes in 16 ounces. And again, I suggest Cantu if you are starting off natural or kinda low on the budget. I haven't heard really any complaints about Cantu before. And I mean, they they're always have the best ingredients and everything, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone. Cones. Another one of my favorite leave-in conditioners is the Mio Organics White Pony. Peony? Pony? Peony? White Peony? Leave-in conditioner? Now that I actually got a, a chance to read it, I could have sworn for the longest it said White Pony. It's not White Pony, it's Peony? <laughs> Anywho, I love this leave-in conditioner. It has a spray bottle and I would say that the spray bottle isn't the best because it kind of shoots out instead of being a spritz, which I need a spray bottle to be a spritz and not a squirt. So that annoys me, so I have to open this up. But it, nevertheless, the product, the product is amazing. It gives my hair a lot of slip. This is a nice base for starting off different hairstyles, for moisturizing your hair. It does leave my hair very soft. It has an excellent slip, so great for detangling as well. So let's get into my favorite stylers. Okay, starting with my first favorite, favorite styler. This styler never steers me wrong. It's, it's always leaves my hair super soft, really moisturized, really shiny. It defines my hair. And when I take my hair down, my hair is so easy to separate without frizzing, frizzing up. The Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream. I have nothing bad to say about that product. I love it. I love it. I'm sort of getting tired of talking. I feel like I'm talking way too much. So I'm about to just rapid fire through all these favorite products. Basically, all these products work excellent on my hair. So let me just go through with them. Tell you what I like. I like the Tylea Wajid Curling Cream. This gives me great definition and hold and shine. Very moisturizing to my hair. Another one of my favorite creams is Camille Rose Naturals Almond Joy Twisting Butter. Love, love, love this stuff. Again, it leaves my hair super soft, shiny, and moisturized. Another one of my favorite stylers is the Sultanicals Can't Believe It's Not Butter. I did do a perm rod set video on this, so I will be sure to link it at the top and at the bottom. And this always gives me a long lasting definition, super long lasting definition. I could wear a hairstyle for days. That's why I love doing roller sets with this stuff because I get the longest roller sets with this. Usually roller sets only last me about two days, but with using Sultanicals, can't believe it's not better. I can have a whole week of a roller set. So whatever's in this stuff is excellent for styling and definition and hold. For my favorite gel, and if you watch any other natural hair YouTuber that talked about gel, I'm sure they said the same thing. The Eco Styler Olive Oil Maximum Tin Hold. I mean, that gel is amazing. It slicks down your hair, it defines your curls, and it's 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 a soft it's a soft hold. Yet its definition is amazing. It's a and it's cheap. Like that big old bottle right there cost me. Five, six dollars. I have a lot of products and I can't ever make up my mind which ones are my favorite. So if you've been sticking with this video, thank you. <laughs> I also wanna go over things you'll need when you're going natural. These two are my favorite combs. I have a super duper wide tooth comb and a shower comb. I really love these for detangling in the shower when I am co-washing my hair, just 
or if I just need to detangle my hair in general. I love these combs. These do a great job. Doesn't break my hair, doesn't snap my hair. Has really strong teeth, really thick teeth. So I really love these as detangling combs. I have my Demon brush. I love my Demon brush. It detangles my hair excellent. This is for when I am about to twist my hair or do any type of styling. I use my Demon brush to make sure my hair is fully detangled. You will need clips. This is what you will need. You will definitely, now I can promise you that, you will need some clips to section your hair because trying to just just tackle all this at once is not gonna be fun. And a pick. I mean, hey, if you're gonna be natural, go all out. Get you a pick, bro. Get you a pick. Like, don't don't be playing no games. Pick that hair out, man. Make it big. Make it and be in somebody's way. Like, make somebody have to look to the left and to the right because they can't see past your fro. That's the end of my video. I feel like I've been talking for forever in a day. I don't know how long. I don't know how long I've been talking, but those are some of my favorite products. I hope that wasn't too much for you. So I really want to make sure that I gave you my favorite products. I showed you my my product stash. I have lots and lots of products that I also do really like. So if it didn't make the cut, it doesn't mean I don't like those products. These are just some of the ones that I'm using at the current moment. In the summer, it might totally change. I might not be using any of these products. Next week, I'll be doing a video on how to deep condition your hair. And also, I just gotta give a shout out to, to Mr. My Creep, you know. Um, he has shirts. Bless, it's Christmas time. Get it for one of your gifts as a family member. You know, if you go to church, you know, bless. What are you blessed with? I'm blessed with this fro. I'm blessed with life. I'm blessed with peace. I'm blessed with this house. I'm blessed with food, with shelter, with water. There's some people that don't have nothing out here. You are blessed because you're finding some way to watch this video right now, either on your phone or on your computer. So you're blessed. Some people don't have a phone and some people don't have a computer. So, hey, why not rock the blessed tea? I'll link it in the description box below on how you can get you a blessed tea. See you in my next video on how to decondition and how to go natural.